Now, Coilerae sells 10,000 first week. Interesting. Want to have a little conversation about Miss Coilerae, who we actually spoke about about a week ago. By the way, just a you know funny interlude in, in the video, I guess. You know, my last video that I dropped on Coilerae, it actually got demonetized and age restricted and i was so confused i was like why and then i remembered man you know Coilera, she do be showing a lot of ass in her video so but this video right here no ass will be shown because i'm trying to get paid i talked about some of the improvements she's made in her music and the fact that she was able to get a billboard top 10 charting record which is the song players it's a really successful record which has been getting a lot of spins on the radio this year aside from that she was featured on that spider-man soundtrack and had a really good performance on the record self-love recently Coilera announced that she was gonna drop her second album it's titled koi and at this point it's been out it came out about a week and a half ago and the first week numbers for the album are in coilerae ended up pushing 10k with this one and uh, obviously people have a lot of things to say about it last year coilerae dropped her album trendsetter and that ended up pushing 11k first week that project peaked at number 89 on the billboard charts and this one however debuted at the 102 spot which that's pretty bad usually on that second drop if you don't outdo your last shit and you actually fall a couple steps below that is not a good sign you want to make sure that you progress and push past that last drop even if it's just by a little the fact that coil array regressed a couple steps especially considering how much industry support she has now that's really not good it just means that the music ain't connecting like it's supposed to because if the music is in front of a whole lot of people and not that many people are consuming it what does that mean? Like I said, the music just ain't connecting like it's supposed to. Now, first week sales aren't everything, but they do indicate something. What do they indicate to me? Well, how strong of a fan base do you actually have? And it's not always black and white, but for the majority of artists in the industry, especially the ones who actually have the industry backing them up, i.e. they're on a major label like Corey LeRae, they got a bunch of cosigns, a big social media following, etc. That just means that you ain't as big as you seem. Is Corey LeRae faking her streams? I didn't say that. You know what I mean. That's a bar. Me spitting these bars aside, no standing ovations needed. So if your fan base is weak, you're not gonna do over 10k, let alone sometimes over 7 to 8k. To me, that signifies that there's a chink in the armor, there's holes in a ship, and no matter how many times the industry says this ship is complete, you're gonna go down like that submarine. I'll say this about Coilera, despite these numbers, I still stand by what I said in my last video about her. I actually think she has improved as an artist. She's definitely gotten better, which tells me that she's putting in work. Someone in my last video said, well, she could have just hired a bunch of ghostwriters. So what is this improvement that you're talking about? Well, that is true, but then again, having a ghostwriter is just one aspect of making good music. There's a whole lot of artists out there who have ghostwriters on standby, but not only can they not char for shit, but the music is ass. It's booty, bro. Just like you can't hire a personal trainer and expect to look like Jaleel because you got a personal trainer, since there's more to change your body, you can't hire a writer and expect to suddenly pop out with good music. So I think she has improved, but clearly the fan base part of it isn't all the way there. Coilerae, like a lot of quote-unquote big rappers, is really hot on social media, but the issue is when those followers don't equate to fans, you get a situation like this. You have the whole industry behind you, all types of cosigns. Shit, you even got Blackie making videos on you back-to-back but you end up with a figure like this. The issue with not making a big splash on your initial drop is it's gonna make your label take a step back and reevaluate how much they're actually investing into you. Are you actually worth this investment? Should we see this Coil Array project all the way through? How much have we invested into Coil Array and what has been the return on this investment? I'm sure Coil Array is doing perfectly fine financially despite these numbers. She literally got a Billboard Top 10 this year, something 99% of industry artists could only dream about. But the fact is the label will reassess certain things as it relates to the budget if your value isn't abundantly clear to them. Now the good thing for Coyle Ray is she's actually proven that she works. I'm not saying she works hard, which she probably does. I'm saying the concept of a Coyle Ray works. This is what we call proof of concept. Just going over what that means really quickly evidence typically deriving from an experiment or pilot project, which demonstrates that a design concept, business proposal, etc. is feasible. Now this is what every record label looks for before they sign an artist. As a matter of fact, these days ain't no way you're getting a major record deal if you don't have proof of concept. If they can't see that you in the market is something that'll produce results, why would they take a risk on something that they don't really even know is going to be worth their time? That's literally a waste of money and resources because how about we take that money and we put it behind another artist who's actually proven that there's a demand for their product in the marketplace. Quilleray has not only been tested in the market, but there's a demand for her 
her shit no matter what i think i'm not the biggest fan of her but it don't matter if you sell 10k when you can get dropped by your record label and the next day you know someone is willing to offer you another contract that being the case the reality for someone like cole Ray is hey i don't have the strongest fan base right now i'm not going to get prioritized by my label next time around because my last one was a drop in the ocean and so was the other one before that you'll get about two swings in before they stop you on that third one and be like ah how about we tell you when to swing because your swings obviously don't have a lot of force behind them however the fact is she did get a top 10 record this year and i think that goes a very long way it's going to be interesting to see how her career progresses because she's had a lot of ups and downs i still think she's on the up and up right now despite these numbers but it does tell us a lot about the place she's currently at in her career anyway don't be stingy and like the video before you leave thank you i appreciate that any thoughts on this topic miss koi Ray sells 10,000 first week with her self-titled koi what are your thoughts on these numbers how do you interpret them and do you have anything to add i appreciate you for listening and i hope you have a blessed day by the way stop eating so damn fast and do not choke on your motherfucking food i'm out yeah can't believe they doubted us look at all the money that we touched we done seen a lot of pesos in our days They just wanna stop